Okay, so we were in the code of this model and uh, we will see what is the principal uh, function of this code that is uh, the interaction of exchanges some units of mass between two nodes uh, according to the um, gravitational model. So, um, we start by uh, calling by asking every total to uh, ask one of their neighbors, so randomly, this is a strong hypothesis in this in this uh, network, we ask randomly, means that every neighbor has the same chance to be picked by every total. This should not be the case, but it's more simple to explain with a random, a purely random choice. Uh, for a more, a more precise model, we, cho we should choose the neighbor according to the intensity of the interaction between the total and the neighbor. So we ask one of these neighbors to basically compute the same flux. So I re I, I recopy I copied the code that computes the flux. So D is the distance between the total which is the link neighbors and the calling total that I have declared here. So the calling total is declared by the variable calling total and I take and I put in this in this variable the keyword who which is just the index the ID of the current total so for every neighbor of the calling total we have this variable so m1 the mass of uh, the current total one of these neighbors m2 the mass of the total calling total so the ID of the first calling total the flux is computed this way, and if flux is superior to 1, so if one unit of mass uh, tr transit between uh, one node and its neighbors, we update the mass by uh, subtracting a mass increment from the mass of one total and adding the calling total, so myself, to increase its mass by this quantity, mass increment. So, in theory, we should have a constant mass, a constant total mass uh, during simulation. We could check that uh, right now, just after we finished the code. So, if flux is superior to 1, so let's say uh, the flux is sufficiently important, you subtract, so you decrease the mass of the neighbor if the mass is zero, you are unable to die, and you increase the mass of the calling total. You finished by updating the node sizes and showing the new flows, and then you add tick so that the output can be updated. So I was telling that uh, mass should be in theory uh, constant. Let's check that. So we set up the the neighbor. Okay, this is a little bit too much links. Uh, don't put too much links on a slow computer. It, it, uh, it can be very, very slow. Uh, okay, this should be... Okay, so uh, look at the, the sum of the masses of the totals. It's uh, 344. And if I make some interaction steps, so sometimes it is uh, just for a brief moment, not constant, but uh, at the end it's still constant. You can observe that the uh, distribution of masses, so the size of the nodes, the population of cities, if it was a, a network of cities, uh, changes, but the total quantity of mass, the total energy of the system, if you, if you, if you want, uh, remain constant. And you can observe that for a lot of interaction. In fact, it can be decreased because if a, a node becomes of a mass zero, it is destroyed. So uh, the, the total mass uh, may, be, uh, may be able to drop below uh, 344. Okay, so as you can see, the distribution uh, evolved, but, but the sum of the mass remains constant. This is again a very strong hypothesis because a system is, uh, does not have to remain of a constant mass. But in this very simple system, it's in a 
global equilibrium of mass and if you want to modify the, the behavior the, um, to reward in the interaction saying that uh, the nodes the should uh, increase their mass uh, in case of interaction you can uh, change this kind of rules and instead of uh, putting minus here you can say you can put plus and see what it does so let's say let's do that again with uh, the mass increasing for the two people interacting so here as you can see the flow is growing bigger and bigger in the network we have started with a very a very um, narrow uh, flows between uh, these couple of nodes and as you make some interaction step you can see that very quickly the size of the system increases okay okay so I put back minus here to keep my system into the global equilibrium of masses okay um, so this was for uh, interaction step. As you can see, interaction interaction loop is just interaction step, but called forever. It's just a loop that constantly calls the function interaction step. Okay, uh, we are very close from the from the end of this tutorial. Uh, this is just a function that will update the sizes of the nodes. You have already seen this function in the previous video, that is uh, computing the flow between a total and another total. This is just a function to kill one node at random in the world of NetLogo, so you ask one of the total to die. And this add one node. It's uh, simply the, the same code as a setup function, but instead of create a number of totals defined by this slider, we just create one total. Uh, we also, after the total creation, uh, copy the code of the um, connect with uh, close uh, the link with close neighbor function. This is simply a copy of the code that uh, makes the links between the new total and the previous one. And at the end, we ask show flows to see if there is some new flows. Uh, in the network, so let's for example say that we have um, this network, if I add one node here it's too far away to, or too tiny because the mass is also random so the position and the mass is random so we don't know if uh, the node will be connected also uh, you have seen that this newly created node have some, pos some uh, flows uh, that are greater to one can try a little more, yes, for example, this blue one uh, has a sufficient mass and is sufficiently close to the other to uh, to generate uh, a flow greater than one. Okay, so basically you have seen with this model that um, we use the gravitational model to, to discover what are the links uh, who will have generate who will have uh, a certain quantity of interaction interaction between the nodes of course uh, i strongly encourage you to modify this code and try some other rules like for example if i have a sufficient mass i can choose one uh, one link uh, i can choose one neighbor um, and create a link uh, with him even if i had uh, i had no link with him before and so on and so on. So you can make vary the mass with the number of links and so on and so on. Uh, you can also add the code of the previous tutorial to add some transitivity links and homophily links. You can tweak uh, it um, as much as you want. So okay, this is was uh, the tutorial on a basic gravitational model uh, on the network in NetLogo with. Uh, adding and removing some nodes into this network. Okay, thank you.